All right. We're at the point now we can have uh, all of our guests, if you can uh, return to your seats here. Um, students, uh, Mr. Toombs would like you to um, come over to the art, the art area. Give a hand to Mr. Toombs here, please. Thank you, sir. Thank you all for coming. Um, how many of you enjoy looking at these candy murals? <laughs> Give them a hand. We did a wonderful job on this project. This is one of the most challenging projects that we implemented. This is only the second time it's ever been done. Um, it takes quite a bit of candy to do this. And one of the reasons it takes so much candy is that in the process of putting the murals together, some of it just seems to disappear and evaporate. <laughs> you know, I did, I did notice though a few times uh, when the young people would come and ask questions, they'd be like, well, I was just wondering. <laughs> these, these young people work so hard uh, putting these projects together. What happens generally is that we give them uh, the, the premise they come up with the theme, and then they have to come up with a concept for that theme. Then that image is then taken to a printer where we print it on a, a large uh, board that's made out of PVC, and then using hot glue and uh, Elmer's glue, they attach all of the candy to the mural. Now we have eight professional artists around the city, some of them curators at the Jazz Museum, the Urban Culture Project uh, in Kansas City, the My Arts Program in Kansas City, uh, uh, the, uh, say again? Uh, Alex Morales as well, who's a graphic artist, and we also had uh, some poets uh, look at the work. And they had a very difficult time picking who was gonna end up falling in first, second, and third. And it always is that way because they put their hearts and soul into these uh, projects. We had one under the name uh, Healthy Lifestyles. We had uh, one under the name uh, Medicine. We had one that, uh, well, let's, let's, we're gonna marshal one some of the points so we're gonna see if we can get everybody to see them. Healthy Lifestyles will point there as it's on the end there. We also call it Food Fight because it's actually a fight between the gardens and fast food. <laughs> <laughs> then we have one called Medicine, and I believe that one's on the other far end. And it has the young woman with her chest open and the heart exposed. We also have Social Justice. We have diversity. We have um, our changing world, as well as environmental. All of the pieces that are being shown were selected by one of, a couple of times by one of the eight artists that reviewed them. But three of them got the highest response. Every single painting or every single one had one or two that had them on the list. So I want you to know if you did not win, you were still curated and, and thought to have done a great job. 
So, uh, Marcia, you were going to read a little yeah. bit of the... Let me, you might want to take the mic so okay. we can get your voice. Okay. On, um, I'm going to start with the, the third prize. Um, you guys. A little bit of what the, the uh, artist said about, that, that did the, um, uh, the prize uh, choosing and judging. Uh, so diversity, um, that's the one where you'll see right there. Okay. Um, the overall color scheme, composition, and stylistic point of view is extremely powerful. The product is as clear as the concept described and visually embraces the viewer. The usage of complementary colors creating a pleasing hue vibration throughout, um, throughout, allowing the viewer to distinguish between the different parts and understand the layout easily. And we'll give you a copy so that you can see that. Then our changing world, Okay. So let's get all of our third place individuals up here. Yes. All right. Okay. Thank you. So our changing world with second prize, and that is the um, icon of Obama. Um, the ex execution wise, this piece is gorgeous. A fantastic representation of the original image in its new medium. As a reimagined representation of a modern iconic work of popular culture, the team has infused a new meaning and potential conversation between the viewer and the piece itself. Okay? Our changing world. Come on up, second place. <laughs> Let me tell you, let me, before you go, let me tell you, Reese um, was the mentor on this project, um, Reese Wynn, and um, he um, met um, President Obama yesterday. He oh, had to his hand. He's, at, he's in, representing at National at Boys State. Um, and uh, so he was, like, before he ever left, when, when they created this piece, his goal was that he was going to get to see and meet President Obama, and lo and behold, he did. <laughs> So I just want to let you know that that was something that was close to all their heart was to make sure that this um, was done exquisitely. And it is. Thank you so much. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead now. Okay. Environmental. You want to come? Yes. <laughs> this is our youngest team. All of them, except for their mentor, Alex, just finished the ninth grade. And this has been a new thing for us because normally we had a couple of ninth graders, but this year we put in, I, I put in 11 because I thought it was important to get them going not only on their ACT, but all of this vocabulary they need plus the social development. And boy, did they succeed. Amazing. So environmental, this is what the artist said. This piece had a very specific and strong story to tell. In the final execution, the overall concept was clear for the viewer. The mix and use of colors promoted a fantastic dimension of foreground, background, which gave this piece a depth that no other piece had. Along with that, the overall shapes introduced an amazing feeling of movement that moved the viewer through every section of the layout. Excellent. Environment. Okay, all right. All right, and then I want our, let our other teams to come up here too. We can all say thank you so much. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to just tell all of you, and, and this is not carbon stone, but I know Dr. Lane whispered in my ear that she might like to see these rotate through the gallery at the district so that they can be seen by people. So if you guys are cool with that, that's where they may be going for a little rest so that other people can see them as well. So Dr. Lane, we may be giving you a call to see if that is something you can work out. Thank you. And let's give them all a big hand because they all work so hard.